Greetings everybody, this is Domingo with you today. Hope you're doing fantastic. And today we're going to be using a new software called ACDC Video Studio 3. Now, this was a promotional offer made by the company and I was able to get a free serial key for it. So I'll show you how this works. Now, this is your standard video editing software where you can edit clips and you can also do screen recordings as well. Now, I'm using Camtasia to record this because if I were to use the ACDC, I wouldn't get the results I wanted because I tested it out. It doesn't have a zoom feature and it doesn't have like animations. It only can record just the screen. So I'm using the Camtasia recorder just to record this tutorial so if you had any questions about that, you can just leave a comment below about that. So anyways, on to the tutorial. So this is your layout. This is your media layout area. So we're going to just import some media by clicking import media. And then we're going to select a video from our list. And then I'm not going to select any of those. We're going to go YouTube upload. We're going to select here the vlogs intro. Now I just recently created a new vlogging channel and I made a new intro for it. So your media appears on the media box here and then you can just click and drag down to the track. So we're going to paste it into track one. So as you can see it appears on your preview window here and up top here it shows the edit and then this is the pan and zoom tool. So you can pan the preview area like this. But we're going to do this for now. We're going to play our video. So that's how it shows. But you can get it to fill the screen by just pressing on the points here. So click on here. And then you can adjust the points to make it fit into your preview window like this. So it makes it bigger. And you can see it more. It just does that for preview purposes here. So as you can see, that's just a simple intro that I made in Sony Vegas. I just used a picture from my vlogging channel area. So what you can also do is you can also do cutting and splitting. So to split, you just move your timeline marker here and then you highlight your clip and then there's a split button. So you can press split there and then you can also highlight it again and select another area and press split again. And then, as you can see, it splits up everything here. Now, this clip doesn't have audio, so you won't hear it, but you can see the visuals. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight a part of our timeline here. And you just learn how to split. But you can also cut. And then you can also click paste. So you can paste it on another track, or you can just place it back down here. It adds multiple tracks to it. And then you can also stretch the timeline here so that you can get a better view of your project settings. And then you can zoom it out if you want to zoom it out a bit more. So we're just going to split this a few times so I can demonstrate other features here. So we're going to split this a few times here. Split and split. Okay. And then it seeks to the left of the selection slider so you can seek to the left all the way to the left like this and then we can just cut that part out so we're just going to use the segments that we split here as an example of what we can do with it. You can go seek to playhead and then you can play it back and forth like that and then this shows the duration so you can drag the slider to the duration of how you want it as well instead of just going to the timeline you can just drag the slider and then they also have a captions tool so you can go and press the add button so you can add a caption and then you can just write whatever you want here and then you can choose whatever fonts you like and then you can also shorten the captions and then you can add a new one and then you can shorten the caption again and you can make multiple captions here so this is what it looks like here there's your captions and then that's it and you can also customize your captions so we're going to go into our caption here and then this is the tool that you click so you click the arrow here you, so you first select the text then you can bold it italicize it and, and underline it you can also set your font you can also change the color of the text and you can also fill in the background 
and then you can adjust the size of however you like. It only goes up to 72 points. Then you can also adjust the alignment of the text and the position. So center position, lower position, and then the upper position up there. And then that's how you can adjust your captions. Yes, we all want to see farts. Okay, so you play it back and then it shows your caption here. I'll just I'll just play it back here so you can see it. So you play back the caption and there it is. But you can also subtitle your videos however you like if you have people that are not able to visually see it. That's how you do captions. Next is the audio recorder where you can record your audio, but since I'm already recording audio, I'm not able to do that. So we can record audio here using our microphone and it'll be added to the track down below there. So we can't do that. Next is transitions. We're going to add a transition onto one of our clips. So to take a transition, you just press and hold on it and then you can drag it down to here. And then you can also drag it down to wherever you like and then you'll see the transitions apply themselves there. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna play it. So you see the transitions applied there and that transition was done in Sony Vegas so you can just do, we'll just do an insert there. So you can add simple clean transitions to make it more smoother and there you go and these are the transitions that it comes with. So I think you can go into the ACDC store and unlock more transitions or buy them but this is what you have right now. And then audio effects here shows mostly just fade in and fade out. They don't have really anything special in this version. So just like applying transitions. And then what you do is you go to filters and then you can go black and white here. And then for this you can go exposure. Actually light, light EQ. There we go. And then you can also do vibrance. Make it more vibrant. And then you can also sharpen the image right there. So these are the filters that it comes with automatically. So let's say you're done your project and you've done what you needed to do. You can then go into tools and then select options. And then these are the settings that you can configure. So you can configure transitions to go for like at least five seconds, images, nine seconds and captions for a few more seconds there. And then for the advanced section, it just shows the storage folder you can save it at, the hardware acceleration where you can select your graphics card to make editing more seamless if you have a really good graphics card, and then you can do auto save. So it saves your project every few minutes. So we're gonna do every two minutes here. And then you can also add your own custom watermark. So if you enable the watermark, you then browse for the watermark that you want, and then this allows you to select it. Now these here are just the image files for however. So we're not going to worry about that. So this is the file that we have selected, but you can select any supported format for a watermark. And I'm going to use my other watermark for the main channel in future videos. And then there's also display, where you can adjust the display area settings, where the default is 1080p right now, with this 920 by 1080 and then you can adjust it to 720 or however you like and then you can go custom and you can set the dimensions right here. We're just going to set it to 1080p for starters. And then if, once, you, once everything looks good, you click OK. And then there's our custom watermark. As you can see that we've applied it. So then once you're done everything, you can go up to where it says produce and share. And then properties just takes you to the object or timeline properties. So this is the uh, ACD, ACD Systems Message system Center and I don't have any messages right now it says here. So then once you're done you go produce and share and then you select your format we'll go share to YouTube mp4 and then these are the dimensions we'll leave everything here but if you want to go detailed you go into detailed settings and then you can set your format mp4 you can choose two codecs and we'll leave the size as it is the bitrate as it is, and the frame rate as it is. We'll leave everything as is here if you're not sure how to do it. You just click OK. And then you go next, and then you name it Test Render or whatever your project is. And then I'll save it in my videos folder. 
let me just spell that right and then what you do is you go next so it allows you to log into your YouTube so it allows you to continue to ACDC audio so we're just going to use our effects account here and then we're going to enter our password common format then we'll go next test render and then you go produce so it minimizes the window and then it'll render the file as you can see here okay so it's complete and then you go show file in Windows Explorer and there's the file so we're just gonna play it back and then see our edits there and this is in full 1080p and those are the filters applied with our captions and there you go that is the test render of the project and then you just go finish and then it goes back into the software and then we are going to go new project and we're not going to save this project and there you go that is how you use ACDC Video Studio 3. So thank you very much for watching this. Have a great day. And if you have any questions, please leave me a comment below.